This is Sarah from Filster, and today I'm going to talk about my personal carry setup and some of the mods that I've done. So I have here two really similar carry setups. Uh, this one is a P365. Uh, this is a P365 XL, and they're both in an Enigma Express. Generally speaking, I like to carry the same gun that I shoot classes with and shoot matches with. So it's important to me that my carry gear supports um, safe reholstering so that I can train with it. So first up, this is the one that I carry most of the time, especially in the summer. Uh, and for any kind of outfit that's challenging, um, you know, yoga pants, that kind of thing. So this is the P365 with a Boresight Solutions grip on it. I like to use a little bit of hockey tape on the grip so it doesn't catch my clothes as much. It still gives me good uh, purchase on the grip, but it's not so aggressive that it's like tearing up my fabrics. I also like to use the reduced size buckle. So that's this. It's a little smaller than the Fidlock buckle, so it just doesn't hit my hip bone when I carry kind of directly in the center. So I don't really have enough space on my torso to fit the whole Fidlock buckle, so that's why I use this. I also like to use the sport belt on my Enigma, which is this wider back panel. Uh, it has a little bit of stretch to it, and I like it because it's wider and it distributes the weight better across my lower back. I know a lot of people don't really care for the stock leg leash, but I've been wearing this one for a couple years. The fabric kind of breaks in and softens up after a little while, and I find this one comfortable, easy to wear, easy to adapt to different outfits, and uh, it's just a nice option. The other thing I like to do is I put this mole skin over the muzzle end of the holster. And since this is my smaller setup, and this is the one that I would typically wear for deep carry, which is carrying below your waistband, when you're carrying with your gun at the level of your waistband or lower in that deep carry position, you'll find that the muzzle of your gun is going to contact your thigh a lot more often. So just sticking a little bit of moleskin over that muzzle end really helps make it more comfortable when it's in contact with your body. I apologize for how dirty this is, because I know you don't want to see that, but you know, this is real life. So next up is the P365 XL. Uh, this also has a Boresight Solutions grip on it, which John has talked about in a different video, so I won't repeat all of that. Uh, but this setup is slightly bigger, so I carry it more in the winter, or if I have, uh, you know, maybe I'm wearing a button-down shirt instead of a t-shirt, so outfits that are a little more forgiving. Uh, this gun takes up a little more space on my torso, and it's a little harder to get that grip tuck that I really need. Um, so for this setup, I actually have one of the Filster wedges uh, underneath my muzzle pad here. So this is from our wedge kit. It's just the, the second smallest uh, little bean-sized wedge. I also put this homemade pad over the bottom here of my muzzle, uh, which is just there for comfort. It just gives a little skin-friendly surface and helps to relieve pressure points. Uh, where the gun is in contact with your pelvis. You can go online and find a bag of sheepskin scraps. They're cheap. This is easy to do. Uh, and then I just took some hook Velcro and sewed it to the back of the sheepskin. And there you go. Voila. Easy muzzle pad. Um, you can put this on the back of your holster. I usually put mine over my wedge. So right about there. Um, as long as you have uh, Velcro on both sides of your wedges, it'll go right on top and stick really well. You can make these any size. I would recommend, though, that you don't make them uh, come up any further than the sweat guard of your gun. Otherwise, they can curl over the top and cause issues with reholstering. Sheepskin has some natural antimicrobial properties to it. Um, they absorb sweat. They really don't smell. You can wash them in the sink. Um, very easy. Make it yourself. We don't sell it. Sorry. Maybe someday. <laughs> Maybe we'll get there. On this one, I'm using the Paracord Leg Leash Mod, uh, which you can find on the instructions page for your Enigma model. Um, this is super easy to do. You just take 550 Paracord, remove the core, and uh, use your existing Enigma buckle. Uh, the benefit of this is that you can get it to match your skin tone. So the reason I set this one up with this uh, with the tan sport belt uh, and the paracord leg leash is because I wear this one with white jeans. So if you're wearing clothing that your undergarments might show through, then your gun is also going to show through. Um, so you want to make sure that whatever uh, gear you have underneath it either matches your skin tone or matches your underwear so that you don't have a big visual 
uh, delta between the gun and yourself that's going to stand out to people. You can get paracord in any color and you can find uh, a good match for your own skin tone. Super easy to do. All this info is on the Enigma instructions page. If you are a sharp-eyed viewer, you might be a little curious about this. This is a tan, uh, flat, or a flat dark earth um, filster skeleton on an Enigma Express. And that's something we've kind of been thinking about offering, uh, but not really sure how much interest there is. So if that's something that you think is cool, uh, let us know in the comments. And if we get a lot of demand for it, it's something we may offer in the future. Uh, but as of right now, this is just a one-off. We um, only sell these in black, typically. Did I talk about the hockey tape? I don't know if I talked about the hockey tape. So I got this idea from Steve Fisher. Uh, this is Howie's Pro Grip Hockey Tape. And the reason I like it is because it's really grippy when your hands are wet. You can kind of see that it has some texture to it. And more so than just a regular cloth hockey tape, I feel like it really um, kind of like locks your hand in uh, and it resists sweat really well. So I have two really similar setups and I don't rotate them just for the sake of rotating them. Um, I like to keep everything as consistent as possible. When I reach for it, I'm gonna know where it is. I'm gonna know how it functions. I've built a lot of good habits with each of these, so they're they're mostly interchangeable as far as um, carrying one or the other. Um, the reason that I like uh, this larger one is because it's got a little more capacity. If I'm not trying to push the envelope of how much I can conceal, I do like to have that, uh, I think it's 12, 12 plus one, that's nice. Um, but if I'm wearing something that's a little more clingy, uh, fabric that's not as forgiving, uh, an outfit that's just challenging for whatever reason, I will definitely downsize to the smaller one because it's just so much easier. Um, also for deep carry, this fits in the space I have available um, pretty easily. So it doesn't restrict my range of motion in that deep carry position. Uh, and it just makes everything easy. Like I can put this on, I don't have to think about it. I know it's gonna be concealed. I know I can shoot it well. Uh, everything just kind of all works together and it's a nice easy setup. Thanks for watching and if you have questions you can put them in the comments. I will be watching the comments at least for a couple of weeks um, but if you happen to see this video and it's been like six months ee, I, I may not come back quite as often so if you need to get a hold of us here at Filster with any questions comments or concerns you can always reach us through the contact form on our website.